We're wondering where you are. It's his nature to lie. So do you. Lestat. Okay. I remember. You like souvenirs? What? Thank you. And we're back. So this is episode six of Interview with the Vampire. Okay, so last episode was a crazy one. That shit ended on a crazy ass note. So last dad was bidding the shit out of Louis. <laughs> My boy was not holding back, not one bit. Did you guys see when he was dragging Louis? He like had his fingers in his like chin, literally. He had his fingers in there. Oh man, that shit was so gruesome. Yeah, I blame everything on Claudio. <laughs> I know some of you guys said that it wasn't her fault or whatever. I still think it's her fault, man. She basically started everything by like killing the 56. Well, they found 56 bodies. There was a lot more than 56, I feel like, but they found 56 bodies of people. And some of them were missing titties and other parts. <laughs> oh, man. That was disgusting. What the fuck was Claudia doing with those? Were they souvenirs? What? But I guess they are vampires. You don't know what they're like. <laughs> Damn, and then poor Louis. My boy never did a thing bad, but his life has been so shitty. Like his mom left him, his sister left him, Claudia left him. <laughs> and then she came back after fucking seven years just to watch him get his ass beat so bad. Yeah, last episode was a roller coaster. I don't know what's gonna happen now. I feel like Louis is gonna leave with Claudia for a couple years. That's what I said last episode, and I'm still sticking to it. Sounds logical, but I feel like he's gonna come back to last dad. You feel me? But I've been talking too long. <laughs> if you're new to HGR, hit the like and subscribe button. Let's get straight to it. I would feel the air against my skin as though I were still falling. <laughs> I knew he was gonna have PTSD. Excruciating pain was the proof I was still alive. Oh, Claudia's been bringing him snacks like he was to her. Could fly. Yes. Like Superman? Not like Superman. Superman is a fictional character. <laughs> he said it was more like floating, arising at will, propelling in a direction by the decision. He called it the cloud gift. That's flying, bro. Most vampires do not possess the cloud gift. With few exceptions, only the most ancient of us have it. Okay. Hey, the older the vampires, the stronger they are, I guess. One of you guys wanted them to bring that in the show. And I like that. It makes sense, you know what I'm saying? All day. Is your medicine taking? Can you fly, Louie? <laughs> no. Damn. Years you lived with the vampire Lestat. And you didn't know he had the flying gift. The cloud. <laughs> I bet there's a lot of things that Louis doesn't know. It was a remarkable bit of restraint he managed. Why would he do that? <laughs> oh, so he can do that. He thought if he exposed all his power to me, I would never feel his equal. And the relationship would suffer. Damn. You only beat me the one time, officer. It's not his fault. <laughs> Classic Stockholm, eh, hey, Doc? I am not him vanished out of a profound sense of shame he would later confess to which was just as well since claudia and i were in no mood to receive his apologies i may pride my blanket so lestat has been calling but he doesn't answer you ready this is humiliating <laughs> ah that is humiliating <laughs> That's crazy. He can't even catch a lamb. We'll try again tomorrow. If you ever want to talk about what happened to you while you were gone, you know you can, right? Uh-huh. Write it on a scrap of paper. You gonna be my knight in vengeful black? I am a knight. Yeah, I hope Killer comes back. Don't move it. I didn't. Save your charity for the needful. Ah, uh, she's the one friend that wouldn't let you talk to your crush just because she doesn't like him. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Claudia. Hello. I don't know if the operator is patching me through correctly. 
I brought something from Louis' favorite bookshop. No one here wishes to speak with you. Well, I know he's upstairs. I can see his silhouette. Perhaps we should let him decide if he wants to see me or not. <laughs> For an answer. He looks like he's healthier now. 25 horsepower Rolls-Royce six-cylinder engine. And a front end they call a coffin nose. Isn't that rich? He's trying to woo him with a car. This one's yours. <laughs> Mine's back at home in blue. Louis, I don't know what possessed me that night. Three years ago. That night three years ago. He okay. Wins. I was someone I don't want to be anymore. I've changed. It took Louis three years to recover. I take it. Damn. Let me prove it to you. I'm nothing without you. If you want me to go away, just say so. I'll obey you. The silence is cruel, and you are never cruel, Louis. Oh, man, he was pouring out his heart. Get out of here, Claudia. For six years and all, these... Now do you guys see what I was saying? I get that last stat is not the best, but still, come on, he's trying. We burned more gifts than bodies in that decade, but they would not stop coming. They burn more gifts than bodies. She began to crack my considerable armor. Perhaps it was the modesty of the gesture. But in the spring of 1937... He's falling for it. One broke through. He had written it himself in the music of the hour. His first composition in a hundred years. Well, that's that does have game. He's out here sending gifts and doing a whole bunch of other shit. <laughs> my boy knows what he's doing. He had engaged a local record company. And when the musicians they hired proved unsatisfactory, he played all the instruments himself. Hmm. That's his voice. Yeah. Like I said, my boy's been doing everything. I can see why Louis fell back. He pressed only one album. Or his falling, I should say. The audacity of it all was matched only by its sincerity. He had made the near perfect battle. Why is she so mad, bro? Pathetic. Perfectly premeditated flaw. Like, I get it, but at the same time, I don't. Six years of begging, you think a song's gonna get a rise out of me? Did you like it? Whoa. This her sing? It's a clear voice. I wanted no obstacle to the lyric. Oh, that's the fuck buddy he said he was gonna kill, too. Put your lover's voice on it? What the fuck yeah. is wrong with your hair? I swim fast and I drive. Put some clothes on, get the fuck out. This is my house. Do I look like I care? Let's start. Yeah, what are you gonna do, let's start? You swam the Mississippi to find me. He swam? I hate you. As you should. <laughs> you took Lestat back. The vampire bond. There is no human equivalent. You took him back. It's a bond that can never fully be severed. He's blaming it on the bond. That makes you believe there are only two of you on the planet. Freedom and chastity wrapped in one person. But there were three of you. Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's her house, so she can't really go anywhere. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Kill Antoinette. Antoinette is my own private affair. Yeah, I thought you said he was going to kill her last episode. Interfering in the romantic lives of her parents. She's coming up on 33. So look in a promising vampire you. Neither, <laughs> but I'm not your child anymore. That's rule number five. That doesn't mean she has to be cold. It's not as simple as choosing a new family configuration. Now I'm your cousin, now I'm your aunt. I am your mate. <laughs> but not my uncle or my dad. I'm your sister or that's the door. Damn. Rule number six. I know I'm doing this for him. I wouldn't want to confuse you. Rule number six. No lies. And that includes lies of exaggeration. I understand now, because Claudia doesn't really have any obligation to Lestat at all. Except that, you know what I mean? He turned her. Go on. Ask your questions. I'll answer them. Did you have anything to do with Paul's death? No. I would never hurt your brother. It's just something up. Okay. I would ask that too. Who made you? <laughs> His name was Magnus. He kept me for a week, locked in a room full of corpses. Damn. Some freshly killed, some bloated and black. Damn. 
They all look like me. He had a type. My physique, my own eyes, staring back at me from rotting faces. Damn, that's how you know you're gonna die. If you see that shit. And then he'd put me back in the tower with the look-alike corpses. I thought for sure I'd be one of <laughs> look-alike corpses. <laughs> no rules. And then I was alone. I thought I can't feed on others. I cried. I didn't want this, but I have a capacity for enduring. It's why I don't particularly like being abandoned. Looks like he's been through like a, some shit. I know he didn't have a good life. My boy is like a cycle. Our home was often vandalized. What is that? Cowardly warnings suggesting we were no longer welcome. Fucking Claudia, bro. Turn to the dark place you came from. Oh, I bet it's his um his fuck buddy. I bet she's been snitching and telling people what they are. You know what I'm saying? Cause he's jealous. He did kick her out of her own house. What do you expect when you do that shit? I would have to lead by example. I'd like to ask a question if that's amenable to you both. You don't have to ask permission. Oh, of course I do. This is the new paradigm. <laughs> Looked down upon for my body's needs. Well, you don't actually need it. Hmm. So didn't say you couldn't, just saying you don't have to. I agree. I know you don't mean to, but I feel the same. You're tolerated. Why didn't you ever say something? Well, it's obvious oh. she doesn't want to upset you. I can speak for myself. Why is she so rude? Well, only to last that. She's probably scarred too from seeing Louis get fucked up, huh? May I propose another rule? When we hunt, we hunt human. I like that rule. Did you think, my boy? <laughs> we are a vampire. We should not. Bah! Call me a dog, but an honest dog. What the fuck? Literally, she's hating and she's not hiding it at all. You think you could try a little harder to get on with him? Have you asked him the same question? He's trying. What? Piano, chessboard, isn't he? Yeah. He hasn't taught me to fly. You're born with it or you're not. Another one of his lies. Oh, yeah, he said that. He probably said that. <laughs> I don't know if I should believe that, too. Louis can probably fly a bit. We're wondering where you are. It's his nature to lie. Claudia? Lester. OK. I remember. You like souvenirs? What? Thank you. <laughs> I thought he was about to call her out for keeping another one, but it was a gift. If you could just give him an inch. One sob sore about his birth and you're back to eat him from his hands. Damn, Claudia is thinking straight. She just doesn't want Louis to get hurt again. She is a wall, the cliffs of Etretat. And I don't believe that Lestat wouldn't do that again. You know what I'm saying? He said he was sorry, but I feel like he would do it again. You would just have to push the right buttons. That's why it's hard. Now I get Claudia's side. There's a darkness in here that wasn't there before. She came back altered, yeah. She went through some shit. In many ways, they were more like each other than they wanted to admit. They both sought out weakness. Yep with joy as I played audience to their joyless exchanges. <laughs> so they loved when he watched. <laughs> oh. Do you write songs for all your lovers? I think this one might be better than yours, Louis. Does that mean you loved Nikki more than you love Louis? <sighs> oh my gosh. It won't work. I ask these questions because I'm trying to understand you better, Lester. <laughs> Did Nikki kill himself like your maker Magnus? Or did you kill him like you did at Antoinette and how you tried to do with Louis? Claudia. Come on. He passed on after he and I parted ways. It took me over a century to try again. Okay. So Nikki was a lover that he had but died before Louis. The many hundredth time, I admire your steadfast pursuit of a game you clearly have no acumen for. I think I'll hunt alone tonight. Master's had so much loss in his life, Lord couldn't ask him to bear anymore. I'll come with you. Oh, 
Poor Massa and his pain. It's an honor just to sleep under Massa's roof. And I know she's talking. Oh, she was calling him master. Oh my gosh. Come on, Claudia. You're <sighs> ugly when you act like that. Yeah, that's ugly. I've given her so many gifts, so many incalculable gifts, and you're right, it is both of them. He went back to the chick. That's why I need you. I thought he killed her and cut off her finger. That's probably a random finger then. Yeah, she's gonna make Louie go crazy. You wanna be a movie star? Well, now that I'm dead, I can be whoever I want. He faked her death. Oh my gosh, bro. <laughs> Our promises will be kept. I am withering here, Lestat. Who's gonna hire a singer who don't sing? Who's a cripple? No. That's what gloves are for. He cut off a fucking finger just to keep the secret? I guess she would have died. I love you, Lestat. I love you too. Damn. This is when they leave. Consistent with his nature. He'd been told to do something. And brat that he was, didn't like being told what to do. He's the father of lies. I wanna hate on Claudia so much, but at the same time, she justifies her actions kinda. Oh, like, less that <laughs> justifies her actions. <laughs> oh, man. Because he's all kinds of fucked up. So you ain't gonna tell him that you know about him? What difference would it make? She's gonna tell him, if he won't. There's a train leaves every night for New York. Oh man, a train. Take us anywhere we wanna go. Anywhere sounds like nowhere. Prague. Are they really communicating while they're doing their thing? Ancient towns, with more like us living in them. And they can't all be like him or him. Damn, killer. We can get on that train, Louis. <laughs> the numbness remained. Tortured rationalization. Yeah, that's fucked. But every night I feel a little crazier. I can see us just like him. I can see it, Claudia. In a hundred well, years. I can't. Train's leaving in an hour. Get off that bench. I can barely speak French and English. I just hold you back. When he hurts you again, and he will. Come find me. I'll be in. Bra. Arrest. She's actually leaving. I can never get that one to tumble out. Right. Damn, she really hates less that, bro. Like with her soul. Hey, sis, you don't need me. You think you do, but you don't. You're smarter now. You see trouble coming a mile away. Yeah, yeah she does. <laughs> she is a 14 year old girl, bro. Always forget that. She, of all things on the earth, deserved a nice seat and a wide window to watch the countryside blur before the glass. The Negro vampire made do with what was left, which was fine with her. As long as she's still alive. May I be excused, Mr. Dulac? Are you planning on slapping me again, Daniel? No. <laughs> so, and so I endured my way home. Back to the crypt. Was that a Bible in there? Come. Listen here. What is it? Germany has invaded Poland. Since when do you care about humanity? Well, I don't. Our sister, impulsive tot that she is, was on her way to holiday in Europe. I'm so glad she decided the better of it. What? Why did she come back? Because of the war? Yeah, she was so happy, wasn't she? Aww. <laughs> uh. Tickets, please! Is that a killer? You're riding the New York Limited. Next stop, Birmingham, Alabama. Bro. Claudia. Oh, what? You left without saying goodbye. I'm sure it was an oversight. You'd think your creator had earned the courtesy. 
You didn't want me. You made me for Louis. And he needs you now more than ever. <laughs> He's in a terrible state. He's so <laughs> Oh, man. He picked you over me. Louis couldn't pick an apple off a tree in his current state. <laughs> Less tat. Let me go, Lestat. I'm afraid I can't allow that. But the rules are no secrets. Fortunate for our family. When I put my mind to it, I can hear the thoughts of other vampires at a very great distance. He thinks of you often. Oh my gosh. Fucking bastard. And I couldn't agree more. Could you imagine if something like that happened to you again? Louis would never forgive himself. Back in your cage, sweetheart. We endure each other. Fucking crazy. We have no more use for him. And he causes us misery with no horizon. I don't like what you're feeling right now, Gil. I love you, Louis. If you love me, then listen to me. I beg you. If you're going to beat Lestat, you have to become Lestat. You have to think like he does. <laughs> That's literally what she's doing. But he's not mortal, Queen. No illness can touch him. You threaten a life which will endure to the end of the world. I am done enduring. I'm not moving my rope. I'm not on that side side anymore, to be honest. My boy is out here doing some crazy shit. I'm going to kill him. Check. I don't want him to die, though, shit. And your queen has been neutralized. It's a very spirited effect. I can kill him. And I want to tell you something else now. No, no you're giving up bishops and knights for pawns. <laughs> no, that can be. The secret is, Louis. Queen on the one side. You want to kill him too, and you will enjoy doing it. You have won. I finished the game. I think I'm gonna go with bed. <sighs> Move your pawn, finish the game. Good night, Lassat. Finish the game! <gasps> she was right. Spoiled. Selfish. Thankless. It was inevitable. Keyless. There he goes in French again. <laughs> yeah, my guy is crazy. We were going to kill the start. We were going to kill the start. Rashida, are you awake? I'm about to say, is my boy passed out? Is this a flashback? I feel like this is our interviewer. What's in the bag? Hello? Yeah. Hi. Are you an assassin? Am I the man you came to kill? I did a terrible thing once. It wouldn't surprise me. I'm a writer. A journalist mostly, so. I feel like Louis had more gay vibes back then. Back then. Than like what he does right now. <laughs> Tom Collins. Louis de Point de Lac. That's an interesting name. My boy read that off of a credit card. So quick, god damn. I do interviews mostly. You see, I look for people in the cracks. You feel me? I get them on tape, and then I write them up. Are you a narc? I'm a vampire. I want to interview you. You know, I'm cool, but. Would you just want to interview a random dude? Oh, more like he's trying to smash. That's what he means. That okay with you? Would you like to join us? No. You go ahead, have your fun. Oh, what? Yeah, my boy's been a vampire. Unless he's tripping. <laughs> oh, man. So Louis' assistant might be a vampire. I'm not gonna take that as 100% because my boy was dreaming, so I don't know if that was real or not. But it was kind of real because Louis was there and all that. And it was back in the day, you know? But man, I was on that side, side the whole time until I did that shit of Claudia in the train. Like, why? <laughs> man, I thought he was actually a good guy. Now I know he's a villain. He's evil. <laughs> he loves Lestat and all that, but bro, he's evil. He'd ruin anybody's life just so he can stay with Louis. And to be honest, Louis was a little bitch. <laughs>
<laughs> I wouldn't have taken less that bag if he fucked me up like that. My boy got fucked up so hard that I don't even have words for it. Literally. I thought that was Bruce that walked into the train and shit and started killing people. Or like a random vampire. But it was fucking less that, bro. <laughs> I'm not even sad or bummed that Louie and them are trying to kill him now. Not one bit. I hope he gets his ass beat even half as much as what he did to Louie last episode. <laughs> And he actually deserves it. If you're new to HDR, hit the like and subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in the next reaction.